Karens are known for their public freakouts and boy do they deliver. They can be seen going off on anyone from store clerks to restaurant staff and even complete strangers. From screaming at the top of their lungs to pointing their fingers aggressively, these Karens know just how to make an entrance. So the next time you encounter a Karen in public, think twice before you startle her. She might just have something up her sleeve. What are my charges? What are my charges? Where's the gun? What are my charges? Where's the gun? On the fateful day of January 26th, 2023, our brave officers embarked on a thrilling adventure in response to a wild tale of shoplifting. In the midst of their detective work, they stumbled upon the ID card of our suspect, Karen, a mysterious enigma wrapped in a riddle. Alas, the plot thickened as Karen's tales and her ID details were like oil and water, they just didn't mix. And thus unfolds the curious case of mismatched identities. Let's find out what happens to Karen. Right there. Hands up, hands up, hands up, hands up, hands up, hands up, hands up. Hands up, no, it's not. Please, please get your hands off. Stop, stop, stop. I haven't done anything wrong. I haven't done anything wrong. I'm not resisting. Please, stop. You're hurting me. I didn't do anything wrong. I didn't do anything wrong. Move your arm. What is the problem? I don't understand. Please. Please tell me what I'm being accused of. I didn't do anything wrong, please. Please, can we just talk? Please, can we just talk? Please, that's my stuff. If you look through it, it's just my clothes and stuff, man. Please. Please. I put all of the store stuff in a different cart, please. Please. You're hurting me. Ow. Please. Ow. Ow. I didn't do anything wrong. That's just all my travel gear, man. Please. Please, get off of me. Ah, stop. Stop. Why, why, why are you freaking out about because that? Because you're you hurting me. What are you Will you please let me go? Please. I didn't do anything wrong. I didn't break any laws. I didn't freak out until just now. Please. Please get off of me. Stop moving. Please get off of me. You're going through my pockets. That's not okay. Well, I didn't do anything wrong. She's what am I under arrest somewhere. for? What are my charges? What are my charges? Where's the gun? What are my charges? Where's the gun? What are my charges? Let's stretch him. Out. Yep. 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 Please stop. Ow. 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 You're hurting me. God, I didn't do anything wrong. Please. Please, I didn't hurt anybody. I didn't do anything wrong. I didn't do anything wrong, please. No, hey, stop. This is, hey, no, this is stop. illegal. No way. For what? What am I under arrest for? What are my charges? No, what are my charges? Please, I didn't do anything. I didn't hurt anybody. I didn't. I haven't done anything wrong. Why are you taking my thing? You are under arrest for shoplifting. I didn't shoplift anything. Look, that's all my stuff. None of that's from the store, okay? I brought it all with me. You can check the cameras. I had it going in. It's all locked. It's all locked with my stuff. This is all done. Look, those are my locks. Those are my bags. They're not even new. Please, I haven't done anything wrong. Please. I haven't done anything wrong. I didn't shoplift anything. I asked them to keep an eye on the things I wanted to get. Okay. I didn't stop with stop, anything, please. Stop yelling. We'll, we'll talk, but just, I need you to, please, I need please, you to stop please, yelling. Please, can I please get out of these cuffs? Can I please? No, you're staying in cuffs. Please, can I have a cigarette? Yes. Come on, man. That no. potentially, you, you got it. You got to stop. Stop yelling. You got to stop yelling. I asked yelling. them to keep an eye on the things from the store so that I can come car? back with them because yep. I pissed okay. off right, my can girlfriend. You, can you stand up on your own? And she yeah. ran out. Can you stand up? Okay. Okay. More you pop right, more we're Okay, Where are we going? That car because mine already. No, 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 no. You're going in a car, please. No, 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 please, please. I didn't steal anything. I didn't steal anything. Nothing in that car is the store. It's all mine, please. Other side, other side, other side. 
Can we talk outside at least, please? No, not the way. Please. You're being rude. Okay, stop. I would like to speak to a lawyer. I would like to speak to my attorney, Don't please. Do your, right is, your right has been noted. If you want to roll the window down, I'll just read your rights book. So now you're also under arrest for possession of a stolen firearm. Stolen firearm. I don't understand. It's it's a clear statement. I have gloves. I have gloves in my pocket. Will those gloves go in my hand? Oh, no. This doesn't play well, does it? Well, I Did you ran him yet? I don't know if you I heard, but it's all about not. It's a female. Yeah, I felt that. I was like, oh! Yeah. So you're living full hand Lieutenant, you just bought yourself, Lieutenant, you just bought yourself a blue team. Congratulations. Then they said in the back of my car that they were looking for the the person at the door because they were supposed to be watching their stuff and that they were going to try to pay for it, but they didn't. Is this so, the person that was in there for they two plus hours? Right to, uh, okay. They asked for a lawyer, so I haven't asked them. Oh, I have everything else I can take the gun to and book it. And the holster's in that bag, too. It's going to the big bag. Okay. Yeah. No Remember, idea thank you. Remember small bag? I didn't see one. Small bag is with needles. Needles. The tiny one. Yep. Thank you. Yeah. I feel like that's not accurate because you would be 37, actually. So, are you telling me a fake date of birth? Because I'm going to figure it out. If you provide me false information, that is also another charge. Providing false information to a law enforcement officer. I'm going to put your seatbelt on. Can I have my glasses off the ground, please? Look, oh, Pat, please. Please don't put me in a box. I didn't do anything wrong. There's no reason I need to be arrested. Dude, I didn't steal anything. I didn't walk out of that store. I'm reaching over you to grab the seatbelt. Please. please sit back. Sir, please. I didn't do anything wrong. Honey! Stop yelling! Jocelyn! She's gonna think I ran off on her or something, man. This is so uncool. I didn't do anything wrong, please. This is unjust. I didn't walk out of that store with any of their property. Not one thing of theirs. Please, sir. Okay, Elijah. We're gonna get you out of the car, okay? My preferred name is Jane, actually. Thank you. Gotten it was not changed yet, but that's the name we go. Okay, step out of the vehicle for me. All right, so you know you're still being audio and video reporter, all right? Well, probably needs to be a different cell, I would guess. Yeah, so we can go in here and do all that. Take these braces off here. We need to, you to take the dagger off. Okay. Right. You can drop your hands. I need you to take off your bandana, your necklaces, your jackets. As highlighted in the video's introduction, this moment marks where the officer discovers Karen's ID card, contradicting the details she previously gave to the officers. Date of birth. Right here. Oh. So that's. So four Yes. Yes. Okay. So you're going to be booked under uh, Sage. It's okay. not my name. Okay. It's well, not my name. Can you look up in here real quick? What? What's that? Uh, I, I, did you ask no, hello, how are you? I, I, I been better. Yeah, okay, so here's what you're gonna do, okay? I'm just, I'm just gonna get a couple of your fingerprints. All I'm gonna do is need is this index finger of both of your hands. That's you have those problem. glasses on upside down. You've provided a false name, so you can get booked in under that name, and you can get providing false information to a law enforcement I'm just, officer. I'm just a little I don't know how you're confused. You have an ID for Sage in your in your jacket that has a date of birth of. That's not my name. Okay. That is why we are doing this, right? To avoid any confusion. You said it was your child. That that means that it would have been your child when you were six years old because you gave me a date of birth of eighty-six. Okay. 
We'll, we'll get the we'll get the video from the store. So you're you're still being audio and visual recorded, okay? I'm gonna get you down to jail. So I, I don't have anything to do with what they will do with you once you get booked in. You'll see a judge tomorrow. That'll determine. You should see a judge tomorrow. Yes. Oh my God. It really scares me. It's so it's so stifling. I don't even know like how long it's been. Can I try my water? You can take one final sip of it and then we're going to work. So what I'm, you, what, I'm gonna, what I'm gonna need you to do is turn around and I'm just gonna put the handcuffs on you in the back rather than trying to twist it. So put your hands behind your back and walk towards me. You're okay, you're okay, you're okay. No problem, I just don't wanna get your bracelets hung up in there either, so. Yeah, of course. Cause I don't, I don't want that to pinch in on your wrists. We're gonna walk you right over to my car. It's the one that's facing forward that doesn't have anybody else in it. Have a I, I don't have. I don't have any cigarettes. I have some in there. I don't think you do. Are you, are you sure? It must be with your other property. Oh man. Sorry. Nor, normal. Normally, I allow people to smoke cigarettes, but if I don't have any, I don't have any. I don't allow you to smoke. Could, could you check in there again? Yeah, I, I looked. I'm the one that put everything from your. Because it was just your jacket, your belt, and all that stuff that came with your, uh, that you had on you. Damn. Thanks anyway, man. Yeah, no problem. I'm going to have to reach across and grab that seatbelt one more time. Of course. I'm sorry about earlier. I didn't mean to be difficult. I really didn't. I was just so confused. So I, get, just... I get panicky when I get confused. I, I, have, a, I have a trauma condition. Okay. Yeah. I, just, I didn't mean to cause any trouble for anybody. I hope we can clear all this up. It really is just a big one. Just not okay. Thanks, bud. No problem. Is there a particular radio station you'd like to listen to? I'm not sure. I don't listen to a ton of blues on the radio. I usually listen to that on... Uh... Oh, this is a good one for you? Okay. Even though Karen kept insisting she was as innocent as a kitten, the cops weren't buying her story. Instead, they slapped her with a trio of not-so-fun charges, playing tag with the police when they said, Hey Karen, you're it. AKA resisting arrest, embarking on a five-finger discount shopping spree, that's shoplifting for the uninitiated, and having a collection of borrowed goodies that somehow forgot their way back home, which is possession of stolen property. Interestingly enough, there was no further mention of the firearm. I will go out and grab my arm. Because you're under arrest and I have the right to do that. Ma'am! I have the right to open your door and Ma'am! But you don't have a right regardless. to grab my arm. I do. No, you do not. Then you can fight. Back on January 9th of 2022, in the bustling town of Austell, Georgia, a lady found herself in a bit of a pickle when her vehicle decided to take an adventurous leap over a median. This daring maneuver didn't just catch the eye of any bystander, but rather, that of an Austell police officer. But what was expected to be a run-of-the-mill traffic stop, quickly escalated into an episode filled with more twists and turns than her car's unexpected detour, uncovering a treasure trove of offenses. How you doing? Good. Why'd you just run off the roadway just now? I actually... You did. I saw you. In your whole car. Well, I missed over, I actually crossed over the roadway. Huh? I crossed over the roadway. You didn't cross, didn't you see. didn't cross over the roadway, you, the fire department right there, I saw everything. You're coming out of the middle school, I don't know why. No, I wasn't coming out of middle school. You came straight, across. No, I actually was just riding on the road. Huh? I was just riding straight on the road. I, That's I what was, I'm saying. You came straight from back there, which is a middle school. I was just back on that road right there, and I didn't cross over a roadway. I just this one right see, here. I didn't see the middle, the middle part. Been a crazy night. Okay. Have you had any alcohol or anything that would oh. impair you to run off the roadway? No, I didn't run off the roadway at all. Then how did your car go over a median? How did it, went how did your car go from here to up here to back down when this roadway is nothing but pavement? Because I turned left. Okay. No. That's, that's not making any sense, okay? You hit something to make your car go up, down. Yeah, I hit the median. 
That's what I just said, and you said no. Yeah, no. Do you I'm see where I'm confused at? I say you hit the median, you say no. You say you hit the median, no. you say yes. No. You had nothing to drink. No, I didn't. So if you blow into a breathalyzer, you will blow clean. No. Zero, zero, zero. The fact that you're thinking is telling me no. There's no reason for me to blow into a breathalyzer. Yes, there is. You just hit a median. No, uh, I just turn. Huh? I just turn. Okay, and people who are intoxicated turn wide and not the correct way. No. Or impaired. At first, this Karen claimed she didn't hit the median, but later, she admitted that she did, in fact, drive over the median. However, her incoherent and inconsistent statements made the officer suspect she might be drunk. Furthermore, by refusing a breathalyzer test, she only further incriminated herself, suggesting guilt. After all, if you haven't been drinking, why not take the breathalyzer? Having said that, it appears that driving under the influence wasn't her only offense, as you are about to find out. My computer's saying you don't. It does not. I'm just trying to get my... Alright, please step out of the vehicle. Oh, please, do not do that. Can I please come? I need you, I need you to step out of the vehicle, please. And I'm going to Listen to me very carefully. Right now. Hey. I need you to step no, out so that I, I don't you have to, to force you out. If you, just you don't tell me what to do. Do you no, understand that? I'm not. Step out oh, of the vehicle. Oh, please don't do that. Step out of the vehicle. Please do not. Do you hold my flashlight. Yeah, just relax. Come on here. Tell no, me you're step grabbing out. me right now. Okay. I understand because I've told you no, to get out. But no. By law, when my I car, of course. Ma you open my car. No, I'm already relaxed. Step this out is, of the vehicle. I do not feel comfortable with you grabbing me. I'm gonna get my 911 dispatch center. It doesn't matter. I need you to step out. Excuse me, ma'am. Listen yes, I have an officer with her hand She's on She's talking nephew. to me on the radio. It now get out of the vehicle there. before please. you're forcefully about no, to get please you're do being not detained. do this. Okay. Okay. Why am I being detained? You're being because She's we being are the 27. Police. I'm trying to get her out of the vehicle. Please, what? Well, you just approached me. Listen. Can you get out of the vehicle, Listen, please? No, I was I was fine, yeah. but you were aggressive yeah, were. when you approached look me. Look at me, look at me, listen to me. I'm fine, but out. I'm scared right now okay, because well, you just grabbed me. I understand that. Take your hand off of me. No, that's not happening. It should. It's not going to. Because at this moment, at this you moment, you're to. under arrest. But. End of story. You have to help me understand Man, why I'm under arrest. You're under arrest you're for failure to maintain lane, driving with no insurance, okay, and knowing you. Okay, okay. Once she's I know I don't have insurance. Okay, that's an arrestable vehicle. offense, and you're under arrest. And that's fine, but you, but you Step out of the vehicle. Me. You said that I'm going to give you one more chance, and then you can either be forcefully taken out, or I will taste it. Why are you trying to fight? In a curious twist of logic, Karen seemed to believe dialing 911 would magically erase her misdeeds. She played the damsel in distress, reporting the officer as if she were in some sort of melodrama, despite being the architect of her own predicament. After a comedic discussion that had more exchanges than a ping pong match, she finally waved the white flag and cooperated with the officers. Step out of the vehicle. Can you not grab right. my phone? Right. We're getting out. I'm getting out. Of the car. Thank you. Please do not do it. I I have asked you so many times. Please, I'm, I'm about to get out of the car. But no, you're going too many. Everything is on body cam. You're going too many. I'm stand not. Up. I've asked you, you so many times. Please stop fighting me. Okay, I'm standing. Sweetheart, I'm not fighting. You fight. take my. You open my door not. and grab my okay. arm. Because you're under arrest and I have the right to do that. Ma'am, I have the right to open your door. Ma'am, but you don't have a right to grab my arm. I do. No, you do not. Then you can fight it in court. Step out. Oh, can of three, get out. Turn around and face away from there me. And put your hands behind your back, please. Relax. Relax. That's all you had to do. Nobody's getting hurt. You're fine. I'm just letting you listen. See? No, she is very, very... Sweetheart, this is not aggressive, okay? So, Karen ends up in the back of the cop car. Meanwhile, her ride is getting the full spot treatment by the cops. But oh boy, Karen wasn't having any of it. She kicks off a one-woman comedy show from the cruiser, claiming she's been manhandled like last season's fashion, and that her precious vehicle is getting an unauthorized makeover. Hey, what, we have all this paint stuff on your car. Did you hit anything? Like, you have a lot of paint transfers. Are you okay? Are you okay? I'm great. Okay. Your officer Did, pulled no, me over because I ran over the median. Okay. I'm not. At, I'm not drunk. I haven't been drinking. Y'all are searching my vehicle illegally. Okay. So you have picked up everything out of my car, and she is searching my bag illegally. Okay. 
illegally. Or, or not now. What the problem is, is now, and she is going through my purse, well, there is nothing that she's going to find. This is illegal, well, and this is a problem at this moment. Well, I need to call my attorney. Okay, well, we'll let you call your attorney because no, you are no, under arrest. Yo, no, that, you are under arrest. I'm under arrest. arrest. She's arrested you. I don't what, know why what, what, she what, has. She doesn't know why she arrested me. I said I don't know what you all your You guys know are. this why is wrong, you know, right? So, listen, um, did, did you hit anything that you and know of? My car has been damaged before they okay. got to that's, what I'm, my, that's what I'm asking. Before, my, before I even crossed over that median, okay. I did not see that median. Have you hit anything tonight in another jurisdiction or anything? Pardon me? Have you ran in any, any, had any wrecks? No, my car is with, was wet before I see y'all arresting me. Okay, I'm just asking. I have police reports and everything. Okay, which what do you know what you hit before when you got in a wreck before? Yeah, my car was never hit anything before I it just ran over the median because I didn't see it. Karen was later charged with driving without insurance and registration, suspended registration, driving on roadways lane for traffic, and obstruction of a police officer. But do you know what she wasn't charged with? Karen wasn't charged with DUI, which has me completely stunned. If you can tell me what's going you on. Have, you've been denied flight today. You need okay, to, okay. You need I, to, okay. Hold on to the rail. I don't, I don't have any baggage. I don't have Hold any Hold on to the rail for I me. Don't have don't. Any baggage. Pull I don't away have from any me. baggage. They Whoa. turned me around. You're not they turned turn me around. They turned me around. You're not cooperating. Coming up, we're diving into the world of airport antics with our next feature, a tipsy Karen who turned her boarding pass into a ticket to jail. Now, she wasn't just kicked off her flight for being a tad too spirited and loud. Oh no, she went that extra mile to ensure her journey ended with handcuffs instead of a seatbelt. Let's dive in to find out how this dumb Karen is going to entertain us. Do you live here locally? No, I live in Phoenix. Okay. I live in Phoenix. All right. And I would like to have my, my flight that I am actually scheduled to yeah. go back to Phoenix. You see? Okay. Yeah, you're not going to go back to Phoenix today. Yeah, of course not. They denied you. Yeah, of course Keep they on. did. Keep on. The exit's over here. Uh, the exit? The exit. We're leaving okay. the airport. Do you have family in town? Keep going. I do have family okay. in town. Can you call them and have them come pick you up? Um... I can definitely have something arranged if you can tell me what's going you on. Have, you've been denied flight today. You need okay, to, okay. You I need understand I've been okay, denied flight. Okay, let me flight. finish the sentence. Then, then please finish the sentence. You've been denied flight. You need to leave the airport property. You're not a flying passenger at this point. I am not a flying passenger, and I need to leave yes, the airport at this time. Okay. Okay. In the grand carnival of inebriation, you've got a few standout performers. First up, the slap-happy sloshers who giggle their way through the night like they've just heard the world's best joke. Then, there are the silent snoozers, dropping off into dreamland with nary a peep. But let's not forget the main event, the combative booze warriors. And folks, it seems we've got ourselves a prime specimen of this last category. Enter stage right, Karen, ready to battle. Do you have an Uber or a Lyft app? I do, and I will. I will open that as soon as I'm allowed to leave, which is what I thought the I was exit doing. Is down here, ma'am. The exit. We're oh, taking it right to the here. exit. What's your, what's your name? Sergeant Bell. Sergeant Bell. Okay, see you. Right here. Go yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. I actually know exactly how to exit this place. I just don't know why I'm not allowed to fly. Because you're I, I actually I know why I'm not allowed to fly. It's because right here, right here. Go. Do not touch my. Go. Do not touch me, ma'am. Exit the airport. Don't touch me. Exit the airport. Keep walking. Keep walking. I am walking. Okay, you this can't stop insane. in here. I am not stopping. You're pushing me. Ma'am, you're pushing The me. automatic door is closed on you. Me. Go over here I'm to the escalator. So glad that you can tell me where to go. That's so glad that you can tell me where That's to their go. That's their job. Don't you mind? Okay. Hold on to the rail. I don't, I don't have any baggage. I don't have Hold any baggage. Hold on to the rail for I me. Don't have any don't. Baggage. Pull I don't away have from any me. baggage. I don't need to go down there. I don't have any baggage. That's where people pick you up. I don't have baggage. Get on they your are Uber not left. picking me up anymore. Listen to me. Go you're, outside. You're putting your hands Go on. outside. I am, I'm walking that direction. Okay. Keep I'm going. walking that direction. Okay. Keep going. No. I think it's crazy how so many of these stupid Karens decide to film themselves during their public freakouts. It becomes even more amusing when they share these videos on social media, 
expecting others to support them only to be ripped for their behavior. It seems like that's what's happening here, as this Karen is recording to showcase what she believes to be unjust actions by the police at the airport, but instead, she is only making a complete fool of herself. Let's put it around, okay? Okay, keep walking. going. Keep going. Keep going. Pushing. pushing, you see. You're pushing. You're keep pushing. going. Keep going. Okay. Are you going to let me go? Are you going to call somebody or yeah, have I'm a gonna... Uber? Uber or Lyft? Away. Which are you going to do? Uber and Lyft is down there. Okay. Okay, I need you to call a friend uh, or Uber or Lyft. Call, call for a ride so you don't have to go to jail. Okay, okay. I, I will do that because I don't need to go to jail because reporting Listen to me. equals go to jail. You're I have a ride on the way. Okay. You I already have, have it on the call, way. Call him. It's my husband. He's already okay, on the way. Call him. I want to see how far out he is. Well, you don't really get to choose how far out he is. I get to choose whether you go to jail or you go home with your husband. So okay, my then choose I go to jail because I have lawyers. Please, 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 and choose I go to drunk. jail. Please, 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 choose I go You're to jail. You're drunk. Do you really want to do that? No, 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 choose that, choose that. Seriously, I have lawyers. Call do you your really husband. want to do that, though? No, I don't, but I know that you don't want to do it either, so. Stand up. Sergeant Stand up. Holmes. You want to go to jail? We'll go to jail. Put your hands It now appears that Karen is under the influence of a malevolent spirit. However, setting that aside, there is a particular statement she just made that I didn't expect that I would ever hear from her. Specifically, she alleges that she is married. Just picture starting each day with this Karen. No thanks. It's no wonder her husband is eager to send her away on a trip across the country. All by herself. Not cooperating. You're not cooperating. Turn me around! Turn me around! Give me a wheelchair! Please don't turn me around! Please just turn me around! You're gonna sit down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will, I will, I will, I will, I will, I will turn down, I will sit down. Just, just. Put your foot right up there. Yeah, sure, right there. sure. Absolutely. <laughs> You're raising kids that are gonna torture other kids. Get her to the bench. Get your foot off this. Get your foot off that. Don't bite me! Stop! Damn it! Ha <laughs> ha! She just bit me. Yeah, I did. You know, I was going to have oh, yeah? a lawyer. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You're going to let me out of this? I'm going to call my lawyer immediately. You know, Get up on the bench. Get up on the bench. Now she's blabbing about her squad of make believe attorneys right before she decides to chomp down on a cop. Regardless of how stellar her fantasy legal team might be, I'm pretty sure they won't be able to magic her out of this one. She literally gave an officer a dental greeting, and it's all caught on tape. It's difficult to fathom how she can be this dumb. Gotta get lower. Yeah, you gotta get lower. You have to hurt me. I get it. They are trying to hurt me. They are trying to hurt me right now. Okay, now we're gonna get it figured out, okay? Okay, um... Let's work on the PC. We'll put it with him. He's safe. He's You're going to have been with him? Okay. And all three of y'all are going to go down to Southwest Medical Center? Okay. And I'm going to follow She's you up. I'm going to follow you with some paperwork. We're going to see whether that's deemed an exposure or not. Okay. okay. Um, 
and then it leaves him by himself. Whatever you guys want to do, I just need to call my lawyer. I have not been able to call my lawyer I yet. No one's allowed me, me to call, call my lawyer. Call Gary. I want to call my lawyer. I want to call my lawyer. Please let me call my lawyer. Please let me call my lawyer. I'll be ten minutes behind you guys. I want a lawyer. Lawyer, lawyer, lawyer. Let me call my lawyer. Sign. You can approve it. Sign the citation. will take originals. Actually, you don't have to approve it. No, you no. don't have to approve anything. Keep the PC. your name off of it. Keep he your does. name off of it. Trust me, they're doing uh, good sign. favor. Keep your name off of it. Sign this one. That way we'll be done. I am going to have a field oh, day with other, this. Other Please, let me call. They're going to tell you not to let me call my lawyer. That's because I need to call my lawyer. And all I want is to leave the room and be able to make one phone call to a lawyer. One phone call to a lawyer. That's all I want. Please let me call my lawyer. All I want is to call my lawyer. I really want her out of the room and I want to call my lawyer. She makes things unfair. Her in the room makes things unfair. She is not. Until she is in a room and you're out of the room, they can't shut off. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Go away. Go, go, go. I don't want you in the room. You're. Go. Karen is absolutely itching to bend her imaginary lawyer's imaginary ear. But here's the kicker. When she does manage to snag that call, the lawyer's probably just gonna hit her with a yikes. Karen, you really dropped the ball this time. You went full vampire on an officer and congrats, it's a star performance on body cam. At that point, all the lawyer can really do is maybe swing a less cringy plea deal her way. And that's pretty much the end of that saga. I don't care where you're transferring me to, I already have a lawyer. Okay. What are you going to do when we take you and put you in that chair? Are you going to fight us? No. Okay. I promise to God I'm not. I've been do. asking you to take me out of these cuffs because they hurt. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to put you in that chair, and we're going to wheel you out to his car. And from there, he's taking you to jail. Okay, okay I can deal with all of that. Perfect. Can I have my cuffs in front of me? Please? No, no, okay. no. That's no one rides in my car yes, with, sir. yeah. Okay, I, I, I understand that. Can you understand that I am just a woman and that woman over there? Lean forward for me. You see these old people over here? They hold people harder than they need to. Your face and tell you you're a fool, old, old whore. These hers. Yes, they're on my face. Can I have them on my face? Please, on my face. Uh, it's like, can it? Can can you please, can it, sir? Honestly, like I'm not gonna hurt anyone. I just want to touch. Hey. Can't my nose ears. My what? Oh yeah. Oh, in the middle of this. Yeah, you dropped my phone over there, and your phone over there. So my phone probably needs to go with my shit. You see that's my phone right there that I saw on the floor? That was my phone on the floor right there! You're gonna forget it on purpose. They left my phone on the floor. They refused to let me leave and then they left my phone on the floor and they're not giving it to me. It's quite humiliating for this Karen to be escorted to jail in a wheelchair as a result of her relentless Karening. However, if I were in her shoes, I'd choose to remain out of sight for at least a decade. Having said this, given her stupid behavior, it's likely that we'll see her again in a similar situation because a Karen is always gonna engage in dumb Karening because that's what dumb Karens do. Are we going downtown? Like to the downtown? I'm gonna unlock it from the other side. This like, door doesn't honestly, work. No, no, sir. If no, you sir. do, we have. I know. I, I really wish that you guys had taken me to a bathroom first. I really would have liked listen to, to have used the bathroom. To listen for... to me, okay? Will you listen to me? If you start kicking the windows and stuff, I won't. I won't. I won't. I promise I won't. I promise I won't. I promise I won't. Okay. Here, look. I can stand up and sit in the car without you even. Okay, I'll be ten minutes behind you. Yep.
Yeah. yeah. I'll need to move my lunch boxes in there. I'm sitting right here. You mind? Oh no, no, not at all. Wherever okay, you, if you no, can still one. sit. Okay, I move all that stuff out of your way. So you can get in here, you brick up right up. Make sure you see everything. That's the best stuff for you. Thank you for coming. Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> No, not you. Him. You're, you're Abba. You have a reason to hurt me. After a marathon of classic Karen antics, this Karen ended up getting slapped with a public drunkenness charge and got an all expenses paid trip to the clink. I had one drink with dinner. Or do you want to do it in the back of the car? What is it? I'm going to put you in handcuffs. Face your car. Are you serious? I already told you, you're going to jail. When your bones are broken, your eyes do not function the same way, correct? No, that doesn't make any sense. Oops, so I'm supposed to piss in my pants. I have to you piss. You are in a I have to jail. piss. Okay. I have to piss. Yes, indeed. We have another incident involving a Karen being arrested. However, in this case, she was driving under the influence and hit a skateboarder. Despite her reckless actions, this Karen still had the nerve to act like the victim. It's astonishing to see the thought processes of individuals like her, so let's watch as Karen tries to, somehow, paint herself as the victim in this scenario. Any injuries? No. No injuries? Where were you coming from? Flagwood Beach. You were coming from Flagwood Beach? Where were you headed to? Home. Home? Yeah. You live just up the street? Yeah. What's your address? What were you doing on the beach? Meeting a friend. Meeting a friend, okay. So what happened? They were in the middle of the street. I gotcha. All right, did he grab your driver's license, registration, and proof of insurance? Yes. He did? Okay. All right, just hang tight at the car, okay? I thought the car would either like move out the way or slow down or something. That wasn't the case, so I had to like jump out the way in the second before she did it. So that's why the board's like right under the tire because she was heading right for me. Okay. And you were going this way? More like this way, like right on the edge. Who else was with you? Just these two. Yeah. Were you on skateboard too? I was. I was. I was. We're gonna try to get in there and show up. I'll take the crash. Do you want to do the the one? Yeah. Yes, I do. And there are other scratches on the car that were not related to this, so. There are other what? There were, if you're looking at the front of the car, there were, I have scratches on the car that were not related to this. Okay, I gotcha. Yeah. This is, I mean, they, you know, they need to stay on the opposite side of the street. You no, know, I, I totally get it. I understand, but accidents do happen. So, I mean, thankfully everyone's okay. Yeah. The only thing broken you. is a skateboard, and that's just an object. No lives were taken. That's all that matters. We, I mean, we can agree on that. So, um, just hang tight a little longer, and then we'll. we'll... So what's going on? Tell, what me, tell me what's going on. Well, we're currently investigating the crash, okay? Why? 
Am I correct in thinking that Karen appears to be bothered by the crash investigation? She seems to be implying that since everyone is unharmed, she should be able to leave without any further concern. However, Karen must acknowledge that she endangered lives by driving under the influence of alcohol, and she will need to accept responsibility for her actions. Well, before I ask, are you okay with standing? Are you able to stand? Yeah. You are? Okay. Are you able to keep your balance? Um, yeah. Yeah? Well, if... I, I, do you have anything wrong with your feet or anything wrong with your legs yes, that will prevent yes, you from... Yes, I have a broken ankle. You have a broken ankle? Mm -hmm. So you physically can't stand on and keep your balance? No. Can you walk without having a walker? No. No? Okay. All right. Um, here's the thing. Okay. We've concluded the crash. Okay, that's going to be documented. Of course, it's going to be made. Okay, this is what we call a change of hats. Now, this is going to be a criminal investigation, Okay. We are getting indications that you are potentially impaired, and we're trying to see if you are or not okay to drive. Okay. Okay. Did you have anything to drink today? No. You did? No. You didn't? No. Okay. I, I can didn't. smell it. I... And honesty is the best policy, okay? What did you have to drink today? I've been vaping. You've been vaping. Vaping doesn't admit, give it like an odor of alcohol. I had one drink with dinner. When was dinner? An hour ago. Okay. So you notice how the change of events here from saying no to blaming vape to now yes. Okay. Like I said, honesty is the best policy. Okay. You only had one drink. What did you have to drink? A rum drink. A rum. How big was the rum drink? It was one drink of rum. Okay. And that does smell. Well, every alcoholic beverage does have an odor to it, and it's pretty much the same thing. I noticed you do have a bottle on the floor. Well, that is not open. Okay. Where'd you get those from? Where'd you get those from? Publix. Publix? Okay. All right. Hang tight for me. I understand there's some physical things going on that prevents you from stand or prolonged standing, stability, as well as walking. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to check your eyes, okay? I'm going to check your eyes, and then from there I'm going to go and determine what the next course of action is, okay? Are you going to be okay with stepping over in front of your car? Is that something that you can do? Like resting on the hood of your car, or is, is that okay? Um, well... Because I don't want to have you here on the side with the door open because cars coming through, it could be danger dangerous. <laughs> that could be dangerous, but... Or do you want to do it in the back of the car over here? Would that be okay? What is it? What would you like me to do? Let's step to the back of the car right here so we have at least a little bit better lighting from his uh, his headlights. And you could lean on the car. Okay. What's up? I have to a lot. I understand that. I I, okay. I, I, I I asked if you were okay with doing it. You said yeah. Okay. Is are you okay with me checking your eyes? Is of course. It, okay. Yeah. Are you okay with resting up against the car? Because I understand you have you can't stand, correct? Like you can't stand like this. I can stand like this. Okay. Let's uh let's stand right here. Every time the officer tries to talk to Karen or tosses a question her way, she is so thoroughly marinated that there's a noticeable pause, like she's buffering for one to two seconds, before she finally spits out an answer. Now, if it takes her that long just to find her words, picture the epic slow motion when she is behind the wheel. No wonder she ended up causing a real-life accident. 
Karen is the walking, slightly slurring poster child for why mixing cocktails and car keys is a recipe for disaster. You understand? Okay. Okay, take the hat off for me. Take the hat off and keep it. Keep it at your side. Put your hands back at your side. Okay. So unfortunately, here's what's going to happen, all right? You're going to be taking a trip to jail, okay, for driving under the influence, okay? You're telling me you took one, you, you had one drink of rum, okay? Your eyes, they're going like this. And that's, I mean, I don't know if you're lying to me. So far, what I'm seeing, I, I think you are. I keep telling you, honesty is the best policy. So what we're going to do is, you all right with staying with her so I can bring my car up here? Yeah. Hang tight right here. Do you have anything on you? Anything in your pockets? What are you talking about? Do you have anything in your pockets? Uh, like what? Yes, that's all right. Just go ahead and face your car for me. I'm going to put you in handcuffs. Face your car. Are you f***ing serious? I already told you you're going to jail for driving under the influence. Okay, so I need you to face the car for me. Turn away, face the car. Hands behind your back. Put your hands together like you're praying. There you go. Echo 214. Can I call someone? They will. Family? They will allow no, you a phone you call at no. the jail. Are you kidding me? Can I get my car home? It's two feet away. Okay, is there anyone I, is there yeah. anyone at home yes. that we can call? Yes. My son and my father. Okay, well we're just okay. gonna get you in the back car first and then we'll go ahead and figure out what to do with the car. Can you step over to my car over here? No, I can't move. Why can't you just move from back over here? I have a broken it's, it's practically the same distance from that you just moved from back here. Exactly. So come on over. We're going to help you out. Don't, come don't, on. don't push me. We're not, not pushing. pushing. You need to move. I'm not pushing. I got You're you. You're not helping either. Yes, we're helping. Come I, on. I saved your phone. Go this way. Come on. It's just right there. It's a couple steps. You can it's hop if you have to. It's not a couple of steps. It's... No. Let's go. I want to call my family. I understand okay. that, but that can't happen. We're beyond that point, okay? If you're refusing, let's go. Come on. It's much easier just to walk to the car. Come on. Let's go. Hey, can you be gentle? I am being gentle. I'm just holding on you. I need you to walk forward. Okay. Can I grab my purse? No. My belongings? No. Oh, good. Yeah. Because these f***ing idiots were in the f***ing road. I got your head. Watch your head, okay? Hi. What Karen just did is a perfect example of victim blaming. She's pinning the fault on the skateboarders for being out on the road late at night. While it's true that teenagers can do foolish things, it's not an excuse for Karen's intoxication. If she were sober, she would have been able to react in time and avoid hitting them. Luckily for us, we get to see not only her tantrum in the squad car, but also her appearance at the jail, where she took the breathalyzer test. Karen is a never-ending source of entertainment, and her sense of entitlement is simply remarkable. So them riding their skateboards in the middle of the street has nothing to do with it? So that's a crash investigation. What I was doing is a criminal investigation because... A criminal investigation? Correct, because they're driving under the influence. Oh, no. I'm not under the influence. That's ridiculous. One drink. And that's criminal? Well, you, you're you're showing indications of impairment, and che as well as checking your eyes, they're not smooth. Well, you do know that I'm 
have a broken ankle and that is... Checking your eyes does not require you to walk. No. A broken ankle affects everything. How is that? How is that? Correct. It's true that when your bones are broken and that... Your eyes do not function the same way. Yeah, when you're when you're in pain, your eyes do not function the same way that they do when you're not in pain. Period. For you to say this is a criminal investigation, that's something more than just my eyes not working because my bones are broken. So there's something wrong. Correct? No, that doesn't make any sense. Oh, it doesn't make any sense? You, you called it a criminal investigation because my eyes weren't working well because my bone is broken in my ankle. You have, you have slurred speech. You have... I do not have reaction, slurred speech. You have watery eyes and you have the odor of an alcoholic beverage em emitting from you. So oh, and that's... The totality of the circumstances of what we observe, that's indications of a DUI. And a broken foot does not cause that. A broken foot does cause the eyes to not function as well. And so when you mean not function, what does it make the eyes do specifically? It makes them not focus as well. Focus as well? Yeah. I have a couple of thoughts about why she might be feeling the effects of alcohol so strongly, but let's first consider her own explanation. Assuming she had only one drink, her blurry vision could be due to pain, in which case it would be unsafe for her to drive. So why would she be driving? However, my suspicion is that she may have combined prescription pain medication with a small amount of alcohol, or perhaps she had a single drink that was particularly potent, such as a full tumbler of rum. And I can tell you right now, I can see everything. I can walk. I can. I am not drunk. This is not a DUI situation. I am not impaired at all. And if you take me in for a DUI, I want to contest it because this is not right. This is not correct. You cannot prove it. I am so f clear. You cannot prove this. You are not taking me in for a DUI. This is bull. Test me right now, give me a breathalyzer, whatever, because you are lying. This is bull. Because those kids were lying, they were in the goddamn street. They were in the street, and that was bullshit. Test me right now. Well, that's where we're going. Okay. Yep. Well, they didn't know right in the street either. Did you put that down? I haven't. I'm not doing the crash report. That's the corporal that was over there. Okay, well, they had no right in the f***ing street. Alright, I'm glad you got this done. For no reason. With no, no breathalyzer, no nothing. It's, it's here. It's here? Yeah. Okay. Able to submit to the test that I have requested is admissible into evidence into any criminal proceeding. Do you still refuse to take the test? Okay. Um, I need to think about it. You can think about it. We got a few minutes here, about 20 minutes, so you go ahead and do that. And once we get to the end of this part, at that point, I'm going to ask you, and it's going to be yes or not. Okay. Okay. Either way. Yeah, just don't put your fingers or mouth near your mouth. Okay. Okay. Is there a bathroom that can use? Not at the moment. Once we get done with this test and we get to the end and you say yes or no, after the test, if not, before the test, and you decide not to, then you can, okay? But until then, no. Just to, I guess, explain, if you're going to take the test, um, once this does its countdown, it's going to do a couple beeps and a little noises and all okay. that. And then what I'll do is I'll put a nice, fresh, clean breath 
uh, piece on there for you. It's going to ask for two breaths from you yeah. uh, to determine your alcohol content. And then from there, it'll print off the paperwork, and then we can get you okay. back to get processed up. Okay. okay? Yeah. It'll go into the report. If you, let's say you ball zeros, that's going to get documented. It'll go in the report. But since you're here already, I'm you still, just trying to understand. No, yeah, I know. Get upset. I'm not getting upset. I'm just explaining it. Okay. You're still going to remain here for eight hours and have to go in front of a judge, okay. and then from there, I mean, yeah, then you'll go. Then you'll Yeah. While on the way to the cop shop, Karen was all gung ho about blowing into the breathalyzer like it was a birthday candle. But now. Now that it's staring her in the face, she's suddenly playing a game of should I or shouldn't I. It's like watching someone realize they're about to hand over the keys to their own handcuffs. Suddenly, Karen's bravado has taken a back seat, and all because she's hit the, oh crap, moment of truth, blowing into that gadget might just be her VIP ticket to becoming the prosecutor's star exhibit. Talk about a plot twist. Keep blow hard. Blow. And you're not blowing. There you go. Keep blowing. Keep blowing. Keep blowing. Keep blowing. Keep blowing. Come on. Keep blowing. You gotta blow. You're not making any sound. There you go. Blow, blow, blow. Okay. It's not gonna go. <sighs> Let me give you a second, okay? I want you to, when you blow. I'm getting dizzy. I understand. I can hear if you're blowing, okay? If you're not blowing in here, it's not gonna register. You understand? That's what you hear, that beeping noise is the register. You don't know how long it takes for me to get to the bathroom. I'm trying to get you there. Okay. Once you're right, done right. with the test, we can go. Okay. Yes, ma'am. I'm doing it. Look really hard and long. <laughs> keep blowing, keep blowing, keep blowing, keep blowing. Nope, it's not blowing. Get up. Blow, 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 blow. Blow. Okay, you're gonna be able to do it. Uh, if you do not blow into this and it doesn't read your sample, it's gonna read as a refusal on the machine side. You understand? I don't know what that means. It means that if you do not blow where the machine reads your breath, then you will receive a refusal on the test. It'll be just like you refuse. See right there? Same volume, not that. Let me get it one more time. So okay, when you're ready, go ahead and get a little closer for me. Okay, when you're ready. I can blow and blow. Blow. No, blow hard. Want no, keep going, keep going. That's the kind of blowing you need to do. Blow hard. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going. Nope, do it. You have to do it. Blow as hard as you can. Blow as hard as you can now. Okay, she's not doing it. <clears throat> Alright, so it's a refusal. It's gonna end up being a refusal if she's not. Alright. I'm gonna pass out. I'm it's okay. Yeah. I have to go to the bathroom. Mm-hmm. Okay. Then once it goes through, it, it takes two times, and then once it does that, it'll ask for that. It'll say what you need. Can you ask them, please? They know. Asking 20 times isn't going to make a difference. Uh, well, so I'm supposed to piss in my pants. I have no I say into control. Can't, you, can't, you can't leave. I just want to go to the You're in a jail. Can you, you ask you someone? Can you, a, can, can you ask someone? You already, to, you already asked. Can you ask? Uh, you already asked. Can you please take me to the bathroom? Oh, you want to be a No, okay. I'm simply uh, uh, no, freely do what you want. Well, I have to go to the bathroom. I get that, but you can't do what you want. I'll have to you piss. You are in a jail. I have to jail. piss. So, okay. I have to piss. Sorry, you have that. I'm sorry, you have to piss. I don't, I win. I know, you would, but you don't want me to. What? I can't let you. I know, whatever, I don't give a sh Okay. In the end, Karen was charged with driving under the influence and was released on a $1,500 cash bond. I'm a lover, not a fighter. I don't ever put my hands on anybody. I'm never going to end up in jail. Well, yes, you are. I'm yes. never going to end up in jail. Listen. I'm never going to end up in jail. You guys are a disservice to this country. Man. This is why the police get shot. You talked yourself into going to jail. I'm not. I'm not going to jail. Listen.
That's fine. I'm a, I'm a lawyer. Like, I'm a lawyer. Heads up, folks. We've got a top-tier entitled Karen on the loose, fresh from launching an assault on several unsuspecting women at a local watering hole. And when the boys in blue showed up, oh, she flipped the script faster than you can say victim card. Why am I not surprised? But here's the kicker, she could have moonwalked out of there scot-free if she wanted. Instead, she pulled a classic Karen move and fumbled the whole situation. Here's how it all went down. Ma'am, so, Deputy Campbell, Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office. What's going on? All right, so you see my neck. Okay, tell me what happened, man. So I'm just in there dancing. Uh -huh. I'm doing nothing. And, like, out of nowhere, like, I don't know. I Honestly, like, I have no idea why. But there's a group of girls who are in, like, a... They're in a bachelorette party. I mean, I'm just out there. I'm dancing with another guy in here. Like, I'm with him, but I'm dancing with another guy in there. Yeah. And all of a sudden, like... They just grabbed me by the neck and like pushed me onto the band speakers. So my lip is my lip is busted and my neck is like I don't know why. I honestly I have no idea why. I honestly have no idea why. Where are the girls at? They're in the bar. Do you know who it was? Yeah, it's it's the bachelorette party. They're in that corner. My neck hurts so bad. Like you see my neck, right? Because it hurts, but I can't see it. But like it feels it's, like there's a big swollen. mark right yeah. down my neck and my lip is like they just took me and were like boom and like pushed me into the band. Yeah, don't, but don't no, no, not noise. you, but like me. <laughs> like they just like took me and like boom pushed me into the band. I fell into the band speakers, so the band will even be able to see that like. Any video is gonna show them pushing me into the band. That lady is crazy. She was pushing and punching everybody in that bar. Um, I did not tell her that I said this, but out of nowhere, she started pushing the girls on the dance floor. I don't know what else happened after that, but I tried to get the bouncers. No one else did anything. She uh, aggravated them. Yeah, she's very, she's aggravated. Uh, it's very nice to see you, and I don't want to act like I'm saying anything about this. <laughs> I'm just there dancing, having a good time, not bothering anybody. I don't bother anybody. But here's the problem. At one point in my life, well, like, no, no, no. I was overweight from a baby. And so, like, I was, like, 328 pounds when I was, like, 40. And I've lost the weight. And so I'm more confident now. I'm 50, right? And so I come out. I have a good time. I dance. I don't bother anybody, but I feel like women just get pissed off about my confidence. I don't bother anybody. Like, I'm just out there doing my own shit, like dancing, having a good time. And for some reason, women tend to get mad about that. It's unbelievable that this Karen is rationalizing her violent actions by claiming that women are envious of her. I commend her for her weight loss achievements, but she needs to come down from her self-righteous attitude. Nothing is as significant as she believes it to be, and no one is jealous of her to the point that they would push her into the band or onto the speakers. She is the problem in this situation, and what comes next in this video will confirm exactly what I'm saying. And women are very funny. Well, I can't help that, but it doesn't it doesn't mean that I deserve this no. or this. And like they just pushed me like into the band where I'm like sitting on a speaker like yo whoa 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 what like whoa 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 like my hands are y'all can rewind the video my hands are like yo whoa whoa like why are y'all pushing me they just like fucking attack all of them there's there is like six of them and I don't know I don't know which one of them put their hands on me but there were six of them together and that's how it all happened between this and this it was more than one p person that must have pushed me and for whatever reason the bouncers like took me out versus them i'm like i got a, a busted lip and a mark up i can feel a mark on my neck they got nothing on them because i did i'm a lover not a fighter i've been in in my 20s, I was in an abusive relationship, so I don't ever put my, I don't ever put my hands on anybody. Oh, Karen spun a tale that could almost make you feel sorry for her, but here's the kicker. 
the ever-watchful eye of the security cam begs to differ. It turns out, after a little movie night with the footage, our officer had an aha moment, realizing Karen wasn't exactly playing the role of the innocent bystander she claimed to be. Instead, she was more like the director of chaos. So, with a twinkle in his eye and probably trying not to chuckle, he decides it's time to give Karen a reality check and spill the beans on her not-so-secret starring role. All right, so, so that's you right there, right? And there she goes, she charges in, and so there's one that's back. Where's the, uh, yeah, go back. Yeah, so that girl right there is the one that threw her down to the floor. That wasn't a throw down to the floor, that was a bump. No. If you look, okay, hang on for a second. I'm looking at the, we're looking at the video, and I'm going to show you, I'm zooming in right here, so you can see the person's back is to her. She actually bumped into her as she went down. Then how did my lip, how did my neck get strapped? I don't know how that happened. Right, you don't know. Bad. Yeah, I'm just looking and seeing what the video is showing. This is the video evidence. This is it. This is what we go by. So we just got like, conflicting stories, we go so, by the video so, evidence. So just like miraculously, my lip and my neck, I got pushed. So I don't know what's showing on that video because I can't see it clearly. But I, but someone took me by the neck and threw me into the band. Okay, that clearly happened. Just, just leave it alone. Obviously, you, they're regular here, but just leave it alone. That's definitely regular. It's just regular. <laughs> Where did this come from? Where, where, where did this come from? Except if someone like grabbed me and like pushed me into the band. Like, I'm telling you that I sat on the band speaker. Go ask the band. Ma'am, I can see that as well on the video. So how do you think that happened? Except somebody like grabbed. That's a, that's a, that's a, that's a, well, like I'm telling you, like if you do this. I can clearly see how you understand. I understand, I understand. So I got pushed. I got pushed like the the, lip, the hand went okay. here so, into my lip into my into my face right like okay. and I got pushed into the band and I was like yo whoa what's okay. going on so, like whoa 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 how could you get pushed into the ba band that way if you went into the band face first no 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 I didn't go into the band I went backwards so I'm well, the so the band is here right all right all right. Take this, take this. So here's the band, right? Here's the band. I'm here dancing, you're there. Whoever like came at me, like I'm, I'm dancing, like I'm, I'm benign because I'm having a good time, I'm not. Listen, I lived in DC for 30 years. If I thought some bitch was coming at me, I'd be ready to kick a bitch's ass. I'm gonna tell you right now. If I thought these girls were coming at me, I, I'm a DC fucking bitch. I'd be ready to throw down. I had assumed she was a proponent of peaceful resolutions, but her recent words suggest otherwise. Could you kindly provide me with the exact statement she made five minutes ago? I'm a lover, not a fighter. I don't ever put my hands on anybody. Excuse me, Miss Karen. It's time to make a choice in the role-playing game of life. Are you going to channel your inner alley cat, ready to rumble at the drop of a hat? Or perhaps you're leaning towards embodying the classic damsel in distress, perpetually awaiting rescue? The catch is, you've got to stick to one script, no switching between brawling in the back streets and batting eyelashes, waiting to be saved. But I was in there having a good time, not, uh, no fighting uh -huh. in me at all. I'm dancing, having a good time. The next thing I know, like some girl has me like this and like I, I fall back into the speaker of the band and I'm like, yo, whoa, whoa, whoa. Cause so listen. She grabbed you by the face and pushed you all the way back into the speaker. I mean, I'm not gonna say all the way back cause like the band is right here and I'm dancing by the band. So all she had to do was push me a little bit and I'm in the band. So it's not like she was like boom, 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 boom. I'm, I'm right here by the band. So all she has to do is like 
touch me and the next thing you know like I'm falling into the band because I'm right by the band okay. right so the band is right here I'm right here by the band so she touches me a little bit and I'm in the band but like she touched me enough that she had my lip and my throat like she grabbed me right here and was like boom back like look at my face like where does this come from and this except someone is like think about it like take your hand and put your hand to me he ain't gonna do that where is I'm where but that. where is it gonna go my lip and my throat like the whole thing matches up to her grabbing no, my face no it doesn't actually because if someone's gonna grab your face and i would say if somebody does grab your face the reaction to a normal human is to chomp down on it if something goes in your mouth it's to bite down I hate fucking Florida police because, like, they just, they don't, like, Florida police just don't, like, they don't understand. They, they. Are you ready? Hey, sir, are you okay? No problem. You guys should probably go in the car if you're gonna do that because if you keep hitting yeah, him, cause she lock you up for domestic. You keep hitting him, I'm locking your ass up. I'm I am i the one no no, I'm hey. the one that got abused tonight yeah. and you don't wanna no no, no 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 you just abused him in front of a law enforcement hey, officer. Hey, 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 we play around. Did that bother you? The way we fight and we play around and bomb. Did that bother you? Alright, alright. It didn't bother him. It didn't bother him. Okay? It didn't babe, bother. Babe. No, 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 no. You back up. Back up. No, no, no you babe. back up. Back up. Back up. It didn't bother him. Do you, you want to get her to the car? Yeah. Please. He ain't saving me. Campbell, her friend didn't get her to the car. You're, you're doing she, your best she's not gonna, to let go. Let, 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 no, no, no. No, 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 no. You're going to end up in jail. Let's go. I'm never going to end up in jail. Well, yes, you are. I'm never going to end up in jail. That remark isn't likely to hold up well in the near future. I can assure you of that. However, what's truly amusing is that Karen currently has the opportunity to leave without any repercussions. It appears that no one is interested in pursuing charges against her, so she could simply walk away, return home, and put this night behind her without any legal consequences. But, as she is a Karen, they tend to opt for the more difficult path, as you are about to see. To your friend though, so she's I'm trying never going right to end now. up in jail. I'm never going to end up in jail. Man. I'm never going to end up Man. in jail. Nice breeze. Come on. I'm never going to end up in jail. Yes, you will. No. You no, 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 no. I'm never going to end up in jail. I'm never going to end up in jail. You don't leave now. This one will talk to you. Will go to oh, I, I will yes. leave. I will leave because you, you are a disservice to this fucking country. You're a disservice. Oh, before you go anywhere, ma'am, this gentleman has something he wants to tell you. Um, I'm going to be trespassing you. You're trespassing from Boonies for a year. Cool. So, a year? If you come back here. Cool. So, like, so like, you can allow people to like abuse me at your place, and I and I'm out for ma a year. Please, come on. Fuck you all. The reason why I'm great. Fucking West Palm, fucking Beach, fuck the sheriff's office. You all. No, 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 no. You guys are a disservice to this country. No, no, no. Because, like, these girls, these girls attacked me and you allowed it. You allowed it. You allowed it. You allowed it. You allowed it and you're cool with it. Fuck you all. Yep. Fuck you all. Yep. This is why the police get shot. Yeah. You're the reason why the police get shot. Exactly. Yep. Because of people like you. Oh, I hope you get hope shot tonight. You hope light. Come on. Let's say it again. Let's go. Say it again. Why don't you say it again? What's wrong? Did you you want to say something to me? Because you're over here literally telling me I hope somebody shoots you. That's called a threat. You want to go that far? I'm not threatening you. The whole place just heard you say it. I'm not the one. I can tell you that. I'm not the one. I am not threatening to do anything to you. You need to get to your car. That's what you need to do. Because you're about to get disorderly caught. Oh, boy. Nah, I'm done. I don't have to talk to you no more. I'm a lover, not a fighter. I'm a lover, not a fighter. 
I'm a lover, not a fighter. I'm a lover, not a fighter. Get to the gym. Get to the gym. I'm already at the gym, baby. Don't you worry. Fighter is weak. Go to the gym. Fighter is weak, sweetheart. See you stand your ass there. Go to the gym. Go. This most recent exchange clearly reveals the true nature of this Karen. Although she claimed to have lost a significant amount of weight after being 350 pounds, she is now engaging in fat-shaming behavior towards another woman, which is reprehensible. I would expect her to have more empathy, given her own past struggles with weight, but apparently not. Nevertheless, despite having the opportunity to leave without facing any consequences, she chose to escalate the situation by exiting her vehicle and shouting uncontrollably. Hey, just let it go. Off a tango zero two Victor Delta. Yeah. Okay. Get out of the car. Get out of the car. You talked yourself into going to jail. I'm not. I'm not going to jail. Listen to me. Is this your husband's car? It's my car. Yes. Okay. Tell her to get out of the car, or she's gonna come out in a way she does not want to. I'm not going to jail. I didn't Bro. do anything wrong. Get out of the car. For what? Going For what? Get out of the car. What am I going to jail for? Bro, this nonsense that you keep pulling. You guys could have been gone 10 minutes ago. I got marks on my neck and okay. a mark on my and mouth. You watched the video too. I couldn't see the video. You watched the video. I, I watched the video. I couldn't the see the video. The other deputies watched the video. I couldn't see the video. Okay. I did nothing, not see the no video. There was no intent in anything that occurred. Is there any way I can talk you out of taking her to jail? Oh, I, I oh no, no. These, these, these two deputies and... over here are not happy at all. I got a I mark. Uh, look that. at my neck well, and my lip. That you have a mark on your neck. And my lip. Like, look at my lip. Like, these girls, like, took me by my face and my neck and pushed me into the band. Like, they took what? me by my face and my neck and pushed what me into the band. Name? What is your first name? Brooke. Brooke? Get out of the car. I'm not. Okay. Georgia, she's not getting out of the car. And I'm trying not to damage his truck. Sir, turn the truck off. I step I'm, I'm, I'm mad because, like, I'm leaving. Ma'am, ma'am, we're past that point. You had the option to leave. You chose to exit the truck. It caused more of a disturbance. Step out of the vehicle now. Do it now. I'm not going to jail. Ma'am, that was once. Gonna ask you one more time. Step out of the vehicle. Do it now. Babe, please come back. I'm going to go in and set my box. All right. Babe, I don't want you to get they're yanked gonna, They're going to damage your truck if she doesn't get out. Okay, ma'am. We're past the point of being polite. And okay. we're about to take that seatbelt off of you right can now. You please just let and me... then you're about to be escorted out of the vehicle. Can you, right, can, you, can, you, can you please just let me go home? Can you please let me go home? Out of the here truck. Now. Out of the truck. Okay. That's fine. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, Roll turn over. over. Turn over. Hang on. Okay. Just Listen. I didn't do Man, anything you're not wrong. Resisting. Stop resisting. I'm Stop not, resisting. I'm not resisting. By you just deciding to lay there on the ground, that's resisting. Laying on the ground is resisting? Yeah, absolutely. Pull it this way. Give me that arm, ma'am. There you go. The level of immaturity displayed by this Karen is truly astonishing. It's mind-boggling that someone could behave in such a childish manner, especially after committing a crime and managing to escape consequences. Instead of taking the opportunity to leave and start fresh, Karen chose to act like a toddler, further embarrassing herself. It's difficult to imagine that Karen had a job before this incident, and if she did, it's unlikely that she'll be able to keep it. Yeah. I know, I know. 
give us a second. Okay. Please. I'll, I'll just go ahead and do it. All right, ma'am. You all roll you over on your, on your side, and once you put your knees up. Okay. Okay. Go ahead and put your knees up, ma'am. Yep. Can you put her knees up so I can sit her up? ridiculous that I'm going to jail after after I got assaulted and I'm going to jail. Like this is fucking America. I hope someone fucks me right now. Like just like come Babe, give it to stop me. it. Come come, come fuck me right now. Like you guys got me all handcuffed like come fuck me. This is from fucking shit. It's gonna get dropped. It's not even gonna okay, be a mystery. Okay. It's gonna get dropped because, like, because, like, I'm gonna be my. I'm a, I'm a lawyer. Like, I'm a lawyer. And these girls assaulted me. And then these police. I'm a lawyer. What's yes. your bar number? I'm a lawyer. What's your bar number? It doesn't even matter. I'm not gonna tell you anything. But so I'm a, I'm a, I'm a lawyer. Number. I'm a lawyer. And like, these girls assaulted me. These girls, listen, we can wait till we get to court and you can get my bar number. Okay, um, I still need your clothes. I need to get in the gate. Well, I got, I got the car to get to the gate. But like, I, I did nothing tonight. I did nothing. I did nothing to you guys. So let's go to court. Okay. No, I did nothing. I did nothing to these police officers to arrest me. I did nothing. So let's go to court. Like, let's go to court. I did nothing. I did nothing wrong. I got assaulted and they let these girls go away. Like, I got assaulted and you let these girls go away and you want to take me to jail? Look at my le my neck and look at my look at my lid. And you let these girls assault me and go away, but you got me in handcuffs. Cool. Take me to jail. Let's go to court. Put me in jail. I, I did nothing. I did nothing. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go to court. Let's go to court. Let's go to court. Like, I got attacked by a bunch of girls, and y'all let them walk away after they, like, took me by the neck and threw me down and you got me on the ground right now in handcuffs and they walked away they walked away and I'm the one with the marks on my face where are their marks what marks did you see on them like really what marks did you see on them you really want to take me to jail is that really what want you to. want to do after you see my neck and my lip? Like, look at my neck and my lip. They attacked me and threw me into the van, and you want to take me to jail? Is that really what you want to do? Is that really what you want to do? Like, you want to take me to jail after my lip and my neck? Like, you didn't even take pictures. I didn't even take pictures of my lip or my neck. And you're over there laughing with him, like having a good time and I'm watching you like, just laughing and having a good time after they threw me into the van. Hey. Hello, sir. Hello. Have a little too much to drink tonight? I didn't have enough to drink. Okay, right. All right. Did you fall? Did I fall? No, I got pushed. Like, a like six girls pushed me into the van. You see my lip and my neck? Okay. Yes. All right. What's hurting you? Nothing. Your neck and your lip? I mean... It hurts, but I, I listen. I've been abused. I've been in two abusive relationships with a man that been that beat me in my face. Okay. So does this hurt me? No. All right.
right, so we're going to get you out the stretcher and take you to the hospital, okay? Great. She cussed me? You want to okay. grab me by my feet? Nope. 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 Feet go back that way. If you kick them, you're getting another charge. Feet go this way. I'm not kicking them. You're feet putting your feet up. Down. Please do not kick them. Just relax. We'll, we'll, we'll move you. Who okay? thinks I'm kicking you guys? We'll move you. Hi. Just sit and relax. How you doing? We're going to get you on a stretcher, okay? You guys have a relax. I'm going to have to set you up. But, but my hands are cut. Okay, but I still need to stand you up, so use your legs. I'm going to lift you up, and I'm going to push up with your legs, okay? Uh, yep, we got this. On the count of three, one, two, and... Uh, oh, you can't use your legs? You can't use your legs? I mean, not the way you guys are pulling me. No, no, look, like I just, you already scratched my leg. Look at the mark on my leg leg right sick. now. So what I'm going to do... I already got a mark on my leg from you guys just right now, the way you're lifting me. Okay, I'm going to try to lift you up easier. I'm going to put the sheet under... Just put it under that arm. Um, hold on, hold on. Because, listen, I work out every day, so okay, I'm... good. On the count of three. These are... These are... These are I'm, I'm, I'm in heels. One, two, three. Mm -hmm. My hands are so like. All right, great. Medical personnel arrive to transport Karen to the hospital. Following a medical examination, she was taken from the hospital to the jail for processing. Not surprisingly, Karen denied any wrongdoing and entered a plea of not guilty to the charges brought against her, which include two counts of disorderly intoxication, one count of simple domestic battery and two counts of resisting without violence. Nevertheless, after a thorough examination, the court determined that the state attorney failed to pursue the charges, resulting in a dismissal of the case. The final documentation reflects a no-file status, signifying the conclusion of the legal proceedings. In other words, Karen got off scot-free after all. Driver, turn the vehicle off! She's in neutral. Okay. How are you doing, ma'am? Step out of the car. Can you speak to my lawyer? Hey, make this. AKA bro. You don't have to worry about trying to look fancy or anything. Just walk heel to toe. What's your first name? Uh, Jessica. What is your name? Jamie. Then what information did you just give him? Jamie. You gave me Jessica. Jessica's my friend, the one that just, I... Just bring her in. Yeah, all right, let's see her on the rest. Coming right up. We've got the youthful escapades of a Karen, who's been nabbed by the cops not just once, but twice. Talk about an overachiever. Round one saw her trying out a borrowed car while also playing mixologist behind the wheel. The sequel? A daring adventure in the world of five-finger discounts. What's truly jaw-dropping is that she's only clocked 18 years on this planet and is already sprinting down the highway to mayhem, as you are about to see for yourself. Driver, turn the vehicle off! Driver, place your hands out the window! Hands out the window! Driver, place your hands out the window! I may need a Spanish-speaking officer. Senora, mano arriba. Oh, there you go. She's in neutral. Okay. She just hit my reserve. All right. Is anybody? Wait. Stay, stay there. Stay back. Is anybody else in the car? We're broken up. She just hit my car. All right. She's single occupant in the car. All right, stand there. I'll stay on that side. All right. My next available unit. Come up on the driver's side of my car. She might be 450. Next unit. Come up on the driver's side. Just uh, if you want to hold on that side, come up on my side. What we'll do is you hold until we're ready to move. One of us take lead that will go to the front and we'll move her from the vehicle. Because she's not, li she's not listening. Driver! She's all over the road, so I don't know if she's 450. Back up to my, just back up to my car. You're good. 
Señora, ha salido carro ahora. Señora. We have nothing to say. Wait, wait. What are you doing? You good? All right. Three six. If you want to just take a lethal and hold her, we'll be hands. She's not responding to any commands. She was a failure to maintain lane, so a possible 450 in Spanish speaking. All right, you ready? We'll go hands. He'll hold that. Yeah, he speaks Spanish. So, yeah, if you want, go with Mac now so you can try and talk there. And then he'll come with me and we'll grab her. Okay. You can disregard. We got 39. You're good? Okay, that's fine. You ready? Senora, it's the phone. How you doing, ma'am? Step out of the car. Can you speak to my lawyer? Okay, no problem, ma'am. How you doing, sir? She's getting she's getting uh, detained right now. Step out of the car. Uh, yeah, I think she's. Well, buckle up for this wild ride. Our Karen, in a plot twist worthy of a daytime drama, spent the entire saga attempting to dial up her legal eagle while giving the cold shoulder to any form of official directive. The cherry on top? Her silent movie routine had everyone convinced she was not acquainted with the Queen's English. I mean, come on, you can't script this level of comedy gold. Listen Karen, your lawyer isn't some magical genie who pops out to save you roadside. They're your backstage pass when you're under the spotlight at the station. Trying to summon legal aid while parked on the asphalt is like trying to order a pizza in a free fall. It's just not happening. The smart play? Go with the flow and sort out the mess later. But nope, she decided to spice things up by playing bumper cars with a police cruiser. Talk about making an already bad situation into an absolute circus. All right, man, listen. Right now, you're. He didn't tell me I was stolen. He's just mad at me because I'm not trying to fly. Okay, okay, no problem, man. You all right? Yeah. All right, no problem. Walk back here at me. And she's mad at just me. Just to make sure the car's clear. She's just mad at me. One people on the team. Wait, can I get my phone? Vehicles okay. <laughs> you okay, ma'am? It's my birthday. It's your birthday? All right. Whose car is that? It's my friend. All right, okay. Here's what I'm going to do, right? Do you have anything illegal on your person? No. Do you have anything to poke me, stick me, cut me in your pockets? I see you have some uh, some uh, injuries and stuff like that in your wrist that are old. So, And you have a Band-Aid here. I don't know if you're like a, like an IV drug user or something like that. Right. Do me a favor, just have a seat in the back seat of my car, okay? Can I get my phone? We'll get your phone after, just have a seat for me, alright? We can clear this out and move traffic. Yeah. Yeah. So if you want, thank you, if you want to move your car. Yeah, you cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah, cool. And then we'll clear out those. <laughs> yeah, we're going to need 4-4. She crushed my car. Is that intentional? No, I think she's 450. She's not, no, you hear her? Because she was doing this. No, she's definitely 450. Um, all right, ma'am. You can stay there. Keep your feet in. Relax, relax. I'm going to try to find a clean piece of paper here. Not yet. All right, what's your first name, ma'am? Rose. Rose? That's your actual, that's your legal, like your government? Mm -hmm. You ever been arrested before? No. You have a driver's license? No. You don't have a license? No. Were you ever issued a license? No. Like, do you have an ID in your purse? Uh, no. no ID, nothing? You ever get a ticket before for driving? Yeah. You have? All right, where at? Uh, a couple of times for driving the BMW, but it's okay. Okay, all right, good, cool. And when you got when you got those tickets, you gave them the same name as Rose? Yeah. Rose Torres? You got a middle name, Rose? Mary. Rose Mary? Okay, all right. Let me just close this, okay? Okay. Watch your foot. Your foot's inside. Okay, get this. Karen, who moonlights at a strip joint, spots these keys chilling on a table. And what does she do? She goes full on GTA and snags the car. Isn't that wild? Now the cops are wondering if she's been hitting the bottle or something. 
so they're rolling out those roadside gymnastics to check her sobriety. It's like reality TV, but way better. She was all over the road. She said she smoked weed prior. Yes, but, but I don't. I don't know if that's weed. All right. Last name is White. Step out of the car for me, all right? Of course. Over. Here's I'm gonna take a walk in the back. I'll do it right. Turn around. I'm gonna take the handcuffs off for a second, alright? Fix yourself, and then we're gonna walk over here. Don't try and run away, and then that's probably the worst thing you can do. You understand what I'm telling you? What? You ever seen Manhattan? I don't know what you're saying. Manhattan. Okay. All right. You're not doing that because that's going to end bad for you. I promise. All right. Would you cut yourself with the bandaid? No, I got my. I got checked today to make sure I'm good. Okay. Okay. All right. Stand over here for me, okay? Here we go. Here. Actually, you don't come from the sidewalk. This is this is a lot flatter. All right, man. Dave, you can't just turn off three sixes lights. Yeah, absolutely. Appreciate you. All right. Let me ask you a question. Do you have any medical problems? No. No. Okay. Um, do you have any problems with your eyes? No. Like, do you wear glasses, contacts, anything like that? Okay. Have you ever had a concussion or anything like that? Any traumatic brain injuries? All right. What we want to do is stand the way you are, feet together, hands at your sides, all right? All right, look at my pen. Okay. Wait, you got to keep following, okay? Don't stop, okay? Look at it. Don't move your head, just your eyes. You got to keep following with your eyes, all right? Or is your girl something in some sort of track items? Great, so everybody down there. Stand the way you are, feet together, hands at your sides. You're going to take nine heel to toe steps forward, right? And you're going to count out loud. One, two, three. Wait, you're not going to start until I tell you to start. So back up. Left foot on this imaginary line, right foot in front of it. All right? Stay there. You're going to take nine steps forward like that. You're going to turn around and take nine back. Count it out loud. So left on the line, right on front. One, two, go ahead. Heel to toe. Seven, eight, nine. All right, turn around and go back. One, two. All right, you're, you're not listening when I tell you heel to toe. You're not listening when I tell you heel to toe. You don't have to worry about trying to look fancy or anything. Just walk heel to toe. All right, ready? Get them out. The nine back. All right. Oh boy, that was a disaster of epic proportions. Karen was sashaying like she believed the officer had just scouted her for America's next top model. Honestly, Karen, this isn't the time for your runway dreams. You're not in a fashion emergency, but a real one. Maybe dial down the diva and dial up the seriousness just a tad. Alright, right, you're good. Come on, we'll go back on the car. I'm gonna put these back on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, don't worry. Alright, you have an outstanding warrant for your arrest, and obviously you're driving a stolen vehicle, right? That's not yours. Okay? That and you told my other my, one of my partners that you stole the car when you were at the club. No, I didn't say that. Were you dancing at the club or you were hanging out at the club? Okay. Can you, get my, can you call my friend? My yeah, yeah, we'll call him and get to the police station. Walk in here. So, when, at the, do you, we just closed the door on the other side. Were you dancing at the club or are you like just hanging out and having drinks? Just chilling? No, okay. Which club is that? Sunrise. Sunrise? Hold on, we're good. Yeah, you're good. Just hang out there. All right.
Yeah, if you want to. Alright, we're going to walk this way, man. To that door. Hold up one second. Let me just lock this. I don't want any of my stuff going missing. My car, you know? How you can find the door? We'll bring it downstairs, put her on the chair, I'll get the paperwork and do your rush real quick and get her out. Well, easy downstairs. I don't want to take the trumpet. Karen was apprehended for failing to stay in her lane while driving, operating a vehicle without a valid license, and possessing stolen goods, which carries a felony charge punishable by three to five years in prison. Notably, she was not charged with driving under the influence, which suggests that her America's Next Top Model audition must have been successful. However, she had an outstanding warrant, which led to her transfer to another jail. Nevertheless, she was subsequently released, only to be arrested again two months later for shoplifting. Let's watch the events leading up to Karen's arrest for shoplifting. Hey, how's it going, man? Good. I'm Zach. White uh, Audi SUV? Yeah. yeah, we have the vehicle. It's running. Um, no one's in it. But it's right over there. See, with the taillights on down there? Okay. That's it. I have officers out with it now, just in case she comes back out. But do you have video footage oh, just so yeah. I can see what she looks like? Perfect. Do you know how much money is what she stole? Uh, she just stole a bunch of stuff from like the hair and cosmetic, like cosmetic aisle. Okay. Uh, it's not like laundry detergent or anything like that. She looked really young. Uh, blonde hair. Like, I have white, black. Oh, uh, white. White. Yeah. You know what she was wearing? Uh, it should have been like a white hoodie and like black leggings. Okay. Yeah, and the Audi was. It's gonna be a uh, white female, blonde hair, white hoodie, black leggings. Can you expand on that? Oh, is it a black hoodie? Black hoodie, sorry. Black hoodie, blue blue jeans. Uh, she had leggings on. Okay. Yeah. You able to where? Where was she? Uh, the cosmetic uh, right here. Um, you want to lower your eyes? Uh, Between aisle five and uh, aisle sixty-seven. Yeah. That's her with the bag. All right. Uh, you know, it's gonna be a black hoodie. My apologies. Uh, black hoodie, black leggings, blonde hair, white female, probably in her mid twenties. Okay. Right here, Hi, miss. Can I talk to you for a second? What? No, no, not yet, okay? We need to talk, all right? Talk to me about what? What's your first name? Uh, Jessica. Jessica, okay. I so the manager, the, the... is this your car? No. Are you sure about that? Yes. All right, because we have a picture of you stealing from the Valley, uh, the Family I Dollar Tree. The, I paid for it. Actually, I was trying to return it, but he wasn't trying to take okay. the reason. Do you have the items on you so we can go return it? Um, I believe so. Okay. Yeah, we got her. Uh, right by her car. Sunny Zembra. <laughs> Don't get into the car. You have your flashlight? Yeah. There you go, sir. Okay, is that it? Yes. Are you sure? Where's the happy birthday bag? Oh, I, I lost it. I, it was a dollar. I'm What's sorry. that stuff on the ground there? That's Why don't we go on the other side and take a look? That's what you said. Yeah, well, he said you took cosmetic items, so are you sure that's not all from there? Okay, well, why didn't you give it to me the first time? All right, well, we're going to go back in there together, okay? Okay. All right, and we're going to go return these items, all right? I haven't decided that yet, okay? All right, come on, let's go return these items. Let's go. We're going to take a walk in there, okay? And if... Yeah, is your, key, your keys are in there? Yeah, I like the car. All right, let's take a walk. Am I in trouble with everything? We'll see. All right, we're got to talk to the manager, okay? It's downright astonishing how Karen, at the tender age of 18, has practically turned into a full-blown outlaw. Think about it. She's got warrants out for her arrest, treats cars like they're free samples, shops without ever reaching for her wallet, and thinks driving is a game better played tipsy. Really, what mischief has she missed? If this is her at 18, I shudder to think of her future in the world of crime. 
Most crooks dip their toes with petty stuff before diving deep into the big leagues. But Karen is surfing the criminal wave like a pro. If these are all the items, then it's not as bad as you think. All right, what's your first name, Jessica? Yeah. Okay. I'm Zach, I just want you to be cooperative, okay? Listen, I get people make mistakes, but you gotta watch out when you do this kind of stuff. Okay, well, yeah. Well, that's a pretty nice car you got, so I don't know why you're shoplifting. I mean, that's not a cheap car. Here, uh, you know what? Just come over here real quick, okay? Jessica, over here. Sorry, you want to just pat her down real quick? Yeah. Yeah. I know. We just got to do it for our just, safety, just okay? Just for safety, okay? Jessica's your name? Yeah. She committed okay. a crime. You can look in her pockets and stuff just to make sure. Okay. And you don't have any, like, needles or anything like I that? I don't. I just don't want to get pricked with anything. That's fine. No, you're fine. Okay. I just want to return the arm. That's yeah, fine. I just got to make but sure we just got to make sure. In, okay? So just do me a favor and go like this, and then spread your feet a little bit for me too, okay? I'm going to check your pockets, okay? I'll put your money back. I'm just making sure you don't have anything else, okay? I think they turned it off. Yeah, they're out with your car. Don't worry. Well, your car is safe. Don't worry. They secured Yep, it's safe. Jessica, you got away. I'm not done yet, okay? I'm almost done. Just let me finish. They should have just left the car running. They may have left it running. I don't know. I know they made sure it was locked. It'll be okay. I just got to unzip your your jacket, okay? They're going to make sure your car is all secure, okay? Just hands like this for me. I don't have I know. I just got to make sure. I believe you. I just have to make sure it's protocol. You got to right. wait. Jessica, the fact that you're moving around and fidgeting is getting me concerned now. Okay? Yeah, just let Stop me, doing just let that. me finish, and then we're good. If you don't have anything, we're good. We're just making sure for safety, okay? I just need you to stay like this for me. Does that look like it's filed yet? Yeah. Okay. Right. Hey, nope. You're waiting here. Come over. Stand over here. Jessica, please. Right over here. How old are you? 18. You're 18? Total is 47.80. Right, can, you uh, can you print the receipt? Uh, is that possible? Let me, let me call my Okay. Sorry. Oh, took a video instead. Whoops. Yeah, make sure people didn't Yeah, we're going to go back to it now. Okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm sure it's fine. I can take mine. All right, yeah, she's, uh, I'm going to have an officer just come back, all right? No problem. All right. Okay, let's try to wrap our heads around this conundrum. Picture this, Karen, cruising in her fancy Audi SUV. You'd think she's got it all, right? But nope, there she goes swiping items worth a mere $47. What's the deal? It's not like she needs to pinch pennies. So, it must be the buzz of it all. Karen is possibly getting her kicks from a life of petty crime. Yep, it seems Karen has developed quite the penchant for thievery, from Grand Auto to snagging bits and bobs, just for the heck of it. She's on a slippery slope to becoming a full-fledged kleptomaniac. Someone ought to tell her this isn't the hobby to stick with, unless she fancies more serious run-ins with the law. And here's where it gets even more sitcom-worthy. The police might have been ready to let her off with just a stern look and a wag of their finger, but oh no. Karen decided improvisational theater was the way to go and fibbed about her identity. As luck would have it, they're about two seconds from uncovering her little performance. Honestly, if Karen were looking for thrills, maybe stick to roller coasters or spicy food challenges next time. Is her car still running, Sarge? Okay. So, Jessica, look at me. You're, you're 18. You're not 17? So, 18. Are you sure about that? Because you don't have a license on you. Yeah, I don't have my license on you. Where's your friend? I don't know. I've been calling her, but she doesn't answer. So how do you plan on getting home? I'll just wait for her here. And you're sure you're 18? Yeah. Do you have a license in New Jersey? What's your birthday? We're very, very uh, wide right now. You sure well, you didn't do anything? I'm just stressed out. <laughs> 
Well, I right? think anyone would be stressed out if they shoplifted. Yes, I agree. Do you have a license? And they didn't put me no, do you on. have one? Um, like, yeah, all. I have a permit, but I don't have it on me. Okay, when did you get your permit? Uh, in school. <laughs> Can I just go find my friend? No. No. Why don't you? I'm going to give you one chance right now. All right. If you're lying to me, that's a charge. Okay. All right. Whose car is this? It's my friend. Your friend. Okay. What's your friend's name? Jamie. So female friend that's yeah. shopping somewhere in here. Yeah, and then she. I think she left me. She didn't leave you. The car's still here. What's your last name, Jessica? I am just nervous. Okay. Jessica, just take a deep breath for me. All right. Just calmly. It's going to be all good, but I need to know your name. Okay? okay. Spell it just... Tremels. T-R-E-M. M O I. L E S. Yeah. Jessica, J-E-S-S-I-C-A? Yeah. Okay. All right. What's your friend's name again? Jessica. Jessica? What? Did you, you don't remember what store she went in? Wait, what's your name? You told me your name's Jessica. JV. What is your name? JV. Then what information did you just give him? JV. You gave me Jessica. Jessica's my friend, the one that... Just, just bring her in. Yeah, all right. Listen, you're under arrest. Yeah, this is right. right. You're under arrest. You're, you're Put your hands behind your back. Yep. So we'll figure this out when we're at headquarters. Stuff. We'll give it back to you afterwards, okay? Oh, Shoplifting number Stop. one. And give me your information. Your stuff back on. Let me just get a yeah, you're good. That depends on how how we proceed for this. We got lighter. You want her property on on her or in the bag? I'll put it in the bag. Here's your money. Look it. Twenty one dollars and another two dollars. Okay, and whose car is this? Yeah. No, it's not. It doesn't come back to her. It comes back to a guy. Jordan. Jordan. That sounds more accurate. So, so he's here now with you. Okay, let's just call him. I'm just nervous. Okay, I'm well, you're under arrest now, so. Am I going to be able to go home? <clears throat> um, I'm going to give you one chance to identify yourself properly, and if you don't, then we're going to up upgrade the charges. Okay. You will not be going home. Rosemary Torres. Rosemary Torres. It took a bit of time, but eventually, she provided her name. However, her troubles didn't end there, as she then made a shocking statement that was hard to believe. Despite her young age and criminal activities, she claimed to have someone waiting for her at home. You'll soon understand the gravity of the situation. So, um, can you guys just please do me this favor and, like, let me go pick up my daughter? You have to come with us first. Uh, that was Rose, that Mary, and they are why or Marie, and they are why. Right. We're not going to do Rosemary, one word. Yeah, I'm not trying to go that far. It's going to be Rosemary, one name, Romeo, Oscar, Sierra, Echo, Mike, Alpha, Romeo, Yankee. So the shoplifting is under $200. That's a disorderly conduct charge, okay? And that's all you're So as long as this name you gave me, you're honest about yes. But I want, I, it better be your real, your real name or else that's a separate issue. All right, hang on. Hang on, Rosemary. Uh, just sit back a little bit. In the end, Karen was not charged with providing false information, but she was charged with shoplifting and released on the condition that she would appear in court. However, her actions are indicative of a troubling trajectory that could lead to a downward spiral in her life if left unchecked. It's so important that this young mother makes a drastic change in her behavior because continuing down the path that she's on right now is extremely dangerous.